Hi, um, this is Wadi and uh, I just wanted to continue the conversation we had last time and uh, that, as I promised, uh, this is to continue uh, with our conversation on uh, the tribal history of Western Bahaloza and um, as I promised last time that uh, I wanted to look into uh, different ruling clan of uh, different tribes uh, that rule around those area and also an opportunity for us to to get to know uh, who are the chiefs in those area and then another successive video maybe we take one uh, chief and uh, and look more closer into the roles and and see what they have done and what were their role in uh, or measure things that they have uh, played a bigger role in. Uh, I think that also will help us understand a lot of things uh, that makes us who we are, the people of Western Bahaduraza. And these are also kind of um, history that we need to document. Uh, with that, uh, I wanted to look into a tribe, a uh, Sere tribe. And Sere tribe is uh, one of the major or one of the a bigger tribe in the or it was the biggest tribe in the region um, we're talking about uh, back to uh, 18 1700 to 1800 um, that's uh, around the time when the were inhabiting the region where it's called wow now and uh, the two clan that I wanted to look at today is uh, from this Sere tribe. There are two tribes. They call number one is called um, uh, Bambi or uh, Bambi. So I'm not sure which one is correct. Um, if you ask people from the Balanda, they will call it Bambi, uh, and then you call some other people they say Bambi. So I'm not sure which one is correct, but again, that's an opportunity. If you have, uh, if you out there, one of the uh, Sere descendant, I think uh, you can correct us with what uh, the actual pronunciation of the uh, clan name is. Uh, but uh, I will be referring to it as a uh, Vambi as we go in our conversation. Uh, but again, like I say, um, in the comment section, just. Uh, if you have a correct uh, pronunciation, I will uh, be happy and love to hear that from you and so that I can correct it for the record uh, going forward. But in our conversation, I will be referring to it mostly as a uh, Vambi. So uh, from this Vambi, the, most, the, the one of the chief that is, uh, or if we go back to the days, it goes only back to this uh, chief. Uh, he's called uh, Chief Medita. Uh, Chief Medita was believed to be born around 1800. Uh, not really sure when was that, um, but he was born in an area called Mvamu. And if you follow up in uh, my previous uh, video, Mvamu is the area uh, where the three rivers uh, branch apart. Uh, it is called Mvongo in, in, in Balanda language, which means the intersection of the rivers uh, or between the rivers. And this area between the rivers is referred to in Balanda language as Mvongo. And uh, the, the some of the tribe also refer to it as Mvamu. And uh, I believe Mvamu is uh, 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 Sere origin. Uh, but I have yet to, to confirm that. Uh, but I believe it is origin, originally uh, a Sere language, uh, so or a Sere word. So, the the chief Medita was born in in Vamu, and uh, also he had a son that ruled after him. Uh, his name is uh, Dingbia. Dingbia also was born in Vamu area so that shows you that along those period of time those people were still residing in in this area and then uh, Mvamu I mean uh, Dingbia had a son that ruled after him uh, his name is Ngima Ngima ruled that area also after so there is still around those area of course there are some movement back and forth but that's the person that uh, ruled after him and then uh, Ngima had uh, 
a son that ruled after uh, his name is uh, Wadumoyo. Wadumoyo was the one that uh, was the one or the son of Dingbia that ruled after him. And then uh, Wadumoyo had two sons that also kind of came to rule after him. Uh, one is called uh, Vangiri, Vangiringbaya. And then uh, Vangiringbaya uh, had a son that is uh, one of the famous people we know, uh, the Angelo Torobanga. Uh, so Angelo Torobanga is a descendant of this uh, king or chief Medita. Uh, down to, uh, through uh, Dingbia, Ngima, and then after uh, Ngima, Wadumoyo, and Wadumoyo have uh, uh, Vangiri, uh, <coughs> Vangiri Ngbaya, uh, which also begotten uh, uh, Angelo Turubanga. And then uh, Vangiri also has a, has a, has a brother, uh, his name also, they call him Nimir. And as you know, the name now is start kind of switching. And that also, historically, you can see how the influence of other uh, interaction with other nations, interaction with other languages, is start creating and importing those or borrowing those new names that are coming into the, the community. And I believe uh, around that time, Nimir may be born around uh, early uh, 1900 or so that's where you know the name and already people are now interacting with some arabs and and other uh, slave traders that are coming into the region so you can tell from the name uh, when we list uh, when i go through those names actually we know that there are other children or there are other children that uh, you know were born to the same man uh, but uh, what we are focusing on who actually succeeded him in ruling after and, and that's where we follow the, 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 the ruling uh, pattern within uh, that family or clan uh, and then moving the other uh, clan that are also said to be the ruling clan is called Yakulabu uh, Yakulabu is also another uh, clan of uh, Sere uh, tribe that also uh, used to also rule around those area but interestingly um, one of their major or one of their famous uh, chief uh, known to be from that clan of Yakulabo his name is called Mangura and uh, believe it or not Mangura was born in Demzivir so that also tells you that these people actually were moving around those area and we are talking about 1800s here you know or, or late late 1700s to early 1800s uh, mangura was uh, born in dumzivir and then uh, from there mangura also had uh, children that was also um, born and they also took over and ruled around uh, 1896 so in the late 1800 so those uh, those two uh, son was uh, Nderengumba Nderengumba and To so you have chief Nderengumba and then chief To they were also from the same uh, and they are from the same father who is uh, called uh, Ngberete Ngberete is the son of uh, Mangura and Berete also was born in Demzibir. Uh, and then Berete, after Berete, he had two sons that is called uh, Nderengumba and To. That was around 19, uh, 1896. Uh, they have to, they, they start to be ruling those area. So those are uh, two uh, major ruling clan the, of uh, Sere tribe that are known or uh, so far uh, known to be documented uh, uh, but uh, again there are so many things that we need to know about them and uh, my appeal also out there is uh, if there are people from the descent or they, those names are, uh, are familiar to them and uh, they know the family I would love to get in contact to them to, to get some account and get to know those people better and to understand uh, some of uh, 
uh, their lifestyle and what the, and also some family members that we may have uh, missed here because the list that we went through are only those who actually succeeded in ruling but they may have other siblings that are still out there that were not on the record so um, it will be nice to to have those in the record and be able to to know and get to know them better because those are our ancestors and we are enjoying western Bahra Ghazal that it is today and wow is specifically that it is today because of those people and to get to know them is actually a blessing and it does nothing but enriching the culture and whom we are until then bye for now